Yeah, that looks good. That's a great start for Mark Halls in the short chair. Oh, that's very close into turn one. Peter Goodwin and Kendall Dunlop have slotted into second. They've allowed Mark Halls and Darren Prentice just to secure that into turn one. Yeah, coming down into the hairpin. It is Mark Halls and Darren Prentice pulled out a bit of a gap on Peter Goodwin and Kendall Dunlop. Looks like Dave MacArthur in third. One, two, and three, pretty close, and there's a bit of a gap to four, five, six, seven. Peter Goodwin's not letting Mark Halls get away, so he's going to be hounding him. Up the hill. Here we come. Oh, wow, he's overtaken now. They have gone flying past him, the speed of that chair. Wow, well, so yeah, Peter Goodwin made a great pass down the street, but Mark Hall was very brave on the brakes. Nothing into it, nothing uh, nothing between them. Yeah, and he's got past it. Dave Halls has managed to um that late breaking into turn one has done the job. He's got past Peter Goodwin and Kendall Dunlop. So he's back as he was in that one. Yes, that Peter Goodwin unit has definitely got some pace. I can see him catching him down the back straight. And sure enough, Peter Goodwin gets him into turn six on the entry. Oh, he spun out. That is Mark Halls, looks like he's spun out into turn six. Peter Goodwin went up the inside. There's plenty of room there, but they just seemed Mark Hall's just seemed to uh, just lose the back end of the unit. So it's Peter Goodwin, Kendall Dunlop in first place with Dave MacArthur and Tony New slotting into second place now. Mark Hall's, Darren Prentice still showing his third. But I think it's going to be Des James that's going to be in third now. We'll just see how they pan out when uh, we get this lap done. Peter Goodwin and Kendall Dunlop. Dave MacArthur is in third with Tony New in the chair. Mark Hall's recovered after that little sp spinet in turn six, so he's in third place. Mark Hall's and Darren Prentice. Des James and James Cunningham have a good ride into, into fourth. And the Lawrence brothers, they've just pushed Matthew Peters back, so the Lawrence brothers are up to fifth place. little uh, spin he's um, doing one 16 twos good second second and a half quicker than anyone else pretty impressive he's on a bit of a mission now to try and catch second place Dave MacArthur
Goodwin still out in front. Peter Goodwin, Kendall Dunlop, Dave MacArthur is only a second behind, but Peter Goodwin pulled a 1.14.8 just to keep that lead. Mark Halls and Darren New in third place. Is your top three? I think Dave MacArthur might be keen for a little look at Peter Goodwin. He's already had one race win today, so I think he'll be keen for that. Des James, good on you, mate. He's in fourth place. Nice and consistent. And the Lawrence brothers in fifth. Matthew Peters and Doug Corns down in sixth place. Looking like they're cruising it a little bit. This will be the end of lap five. The white flag will be coming out. For Peter Goodwin. Kendall Dunlop. It certainly is, but Dave MacArthur is right with them. So, um, yeah, I think Dave might fancy a little, um, little attack on the last lap. We shall see. is going to have the speed. He's not. It's going to be Peter Goodwin and Kendall Dunlop taking out the last race of the day. Second place to Dave MacArthur and Tony New. Great racing for them. That's your one and two in the sidecars. Mark Halls recovers um, to a comfortable third. So he's had a pretty good day. That's Mark Halls and, and Darren Prentice. Des is a good friend of mine. Des James gets fourth place. James Cunningham just beat the Lawrence brothers to the line, so they'll be happy to have uh, kept that place. Fourth for Des James, fifth for the Lawrence brothers, and uh, bring it home will be Matthew Peters and Doug Corns and, uh, well, and the Burke brothers. Well, thanks everyone. That was a great day's racing. Thanks to all our sponsors, all the organisers, and uh, to Hampton Downs for a great day's racing. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.